Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm back with another share for Babycraft using their beautiful products that I received through their YouTube program and the details about that are in the um, description below and you are able to apply to their program if you have over 100 subscribers and you then return choose products and then you do three um, videos in return one unboxing and two tutorials so this is um, another one of my tutorials for baby craft and thanks again for letting me showcase your beautiful products so as you saw in my unboxing two weeks ago my video I chose these lovely um, die metal die flower metal die cutting dies and there was eight all together two four six eight two in each of the sizes a small one and a large one in each of the patterns the four patterns and you can see they cut beautifully i've just cut them out in this pink cardstock just to show you how they've cut out and um they have cut really well so the shapes were really um really lovely to use um and then of course once you shape them they become really beautiful little flowers. So I'm just going to pop all those away for now. Um, I've got a project again using, as well today's project, the beautiful chains that I also chose. And these were the chains that are five strands of one metre random mix faceted glass beads chain. I think the glass beads were six millimetres. And... Um, so I'll show you the project that I've made. Now, um, my table is probably not going to let me show it all, but I'll zoom out. And I made a banner using the um, flower dies, metal cutting dies. And um, also I did use again the beautiful um, flat back pearls that I got in my first unboxing from um, BB Crafts. And then I've also used the beautiful chain on the, um, on the end here underneath the ribbon. So I'll show you how I've made these. And just for today's video, I'm just going to finish off showing you how I did the flowers. Just a quick um, step through of what I did. So, just zoom in a little. BB Craft has these dies for sale as well. They're like a spool die. I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, so I've used those. I didn't get these through the... Um, YouTube program but they do sell them and I've used antique papery floor gardens alphabet cards their digital kit it's a fabulous fabulous digital and um, I've used that to make my word create of course you can make anything this um, banner that I've made is going to hang on my craft door and um, so when I printed out the antique papery papers, I printed them on matte um, digital photo paper, um, matte quality. And then, as you can see, I used the largest die, and it does punch the hole when you put it through. So when you put it on there, you do get a little bit of, it fits pretty good, but you do get a tiny little bit of white come up. So then I've just used, some crumb cake stamping up and just um, ink and just blended that in so that you can hardly see it so that's the background I did cut three pieces I cut first of all the letter and then I did cut a piece just of cardstock that you don't see in the middle and then for the backing I did use some um, well here I've used this polka dot um, gray um, and white um, paper and um, just to make it a little bit stronger so that was the three layers um, I glued them all together around the edges you could also sew 
I didn't, but you could sew them. So that was the base, the spool. And once I had the base, the three, the thing, as I said, I then used my ink and just blended in those little bits of white that you can see. And then I um, started to put it together. So what I did, once I cut out six, um, six spools, I got a piece of very lightly, um, very light lace and I glued it on the petal on each point of the spools. And then once it was dry, I came back through with my tiny attacher, my Tim Holtz um, tiny stapler. And as you can see, I'll just zoom in for you. To secure it, I've just put a staple under each of the petals to hold it through the flower. Also, um, as I said, I put glue as well. And that that's how I'm holding it together. I didn't want to put more holes in it. I just wanted the flat and I didn't want it any wider with ribbons or anything. So as I said, it's to fit my craft door, my door in my craft room. So I've put the staples to secure that. And then I put a tea dyed, just a piece of lace um, flower motif from my stash on top. And then we'll, um, we'll do these two flowers. So um, this one, you can see, I've, um, I've used, oh, sorry, that sun's coming through. I hope it's not uh, annoying me in my video. I've used um, like a lovely plummy kind of a color. And then the blue color for the larger flower so we'll just make a couple of flowers to finish this banner just zooming in for you of course all I did I used the blush um, the blush metallic pigment ink from um, Spectrum Noir. I just inked around the edges of the little plum colored flower. So you can see I used the cutting die that has the five petals, the large and the small one. And then for the other flower, I've used again the large, um, the three petal one and the smaller one and then another one of these smaller five petal ones for the middle and I thought this this one would make a gorgeous hydrangea that would be stunning with like a little pearl put through and um, there was that one as well but um, I just used these ones for today. So I've inked the, the, the plum coloured ones. I've just quickly finished inking the blue ones. Just a little bit of brown, just a very subtle bit of brown on it, just to give it that vintage kind of feel to it. done those couple and just really quickly do these couple as well and this is just a lovely blue um, double-sided scrapbooking paper and then a pail of blue it has got a tiny little brown spot in this one in the paper it's very subtle but um, I wanted to add a little bit more brown so there's all our pieces we've inked. Trying 
trying to keep it tidy bench for you. And now we will just use the mat tool. And I have these, I used to do cake decorating. Do you just need some sort of a stylus? These are plastic, I know you can get nice metal ones. So all you're doing is breaking down the fibers. Um, now you can go turn it over from the back and that's what I did for these ones. So we'll start with these ones. So just breaking down, getting into the petals. And then I'm just going to quickly just push around the edge. I'm not a professional flower maker, but it just goes to show you don't really need to be to make something look pretty. So there's those two. And so that's what I used for the small flowers here. And in the Antique Papery Floor Gardens Alphabet digital print, it had a flower. So I've just put my flower over it. So there's those ones done. So all I did again is just go from the back, press it down, flip it over and give it the, the little point. And then we're just going to glue it together. Little press in the center. We'll do these ones while we're here. These ones I did from the front. So we'll just break down the fibers. And this is for this pansy type one, but we will just just go just around the edge, just to start to curl that up. Just for, it reminded me of a pansy. And I love pansies. So, and then that one needed a, a small one. We'll just go around the edges of that one as well. You can just even, you can rub it or you can press it. It's just to give it that bit of shape. And so we've got that one, that one. And we'll just do this one a little bit more. This is to make this larger blue one here. So I've alternated them. I've done the large, the large blue layered one and then like the pansy one and for something different I just put a little bow in the middle of that one. So I'll just do these few. So you can see it's really quite fast. You just want to give it some shape just so it's not so flat. Okay, so we'll just quickly put them together. All I did was I used some glossy accents. We'll do the large one first. And I just kind of found the, the middle of the flower and just made sure it overlapped in the middle of that flower. on the back you don't need much and overlapped it again and then the small one the middle we'll do this one over here glue on that one so that's how I made the little purple ones that sit on the letters in the um, antique papery digital print on the spool and then the pansy I've actually actually cut this one because I wanted it to be longer so I just cut it into 
two pieces and one piece. Oops, we'll just finish this one up. So you're literally just overlapping. Okay, there's that one done. Let's push it again. You can use your fingers and just give it some more shape. And then we'll just do the pansy one. So I just put a little bit of glossy accents. Just making sure it's in frame up here. Set it up there, and this one, this would look beautiful in um, like a fuchsia colour and a purple to make a proper pansy. I just wiggled it down a little, left that little gap. And then you might just attach that with some fabric glue. Just a tiny bit on the bow. Just for something different. Can look a bit feminine and pretty. Just press my flowers again. So now we'll just attach those. Just add a pearl in the center of these. I just used the BB craft ones. I used a tiny one, the smallest one for the plum colored one, and a larger one for the blue one. A little dot of glossy accents. Oops, it is. Okay. And we'll just put this one on the plum coloured one. So as you can see, they're so fast, so quick to make. I think the longest part is choosing your colours. Oops, my fingers. So you don't need that one. We'll just leave that to dry. And we'll just attach these couple and our project is finished. So I'm just attaching that flower there. And then I'm going to attach the pansy one as well. Just move these out of the way. Just put the pansy one on. Just a little bit of fabric glue. in the center there and that's our project finished so I will just run quickly through it so we started with the spools the three um, with this part I've just 
under the ribbons that I've tied through the eyelet. I punched an eyelet through there, punched a hole, popped the eyelet through, and then I've just put a large ring on through the chain. Um, you saw how easy that chain is to just move the links apart. I think I've counted there's about 13 little bead pieces I popped on that. And then I'm going to just either end has that and then I'll be able to just hook it up. Oopsie days. That's what happens when you don't let projects dry. <laughs> so there we have it. I'll just make sure. So you've got your C, R, E, A, T and the E. And I'll just zoom in and show you these gorgeous laces that I've used. You can see them here. These pieces. I used this large piece and I just simply cut that piece there. As you can see I've discarded that piece. So I just wanted that piece and I've put that at the bottom. And then I alternated it and I used this beautiful this beautiful lace and I've just used this part here and put it here and cut it for there and then I just used a single one and popped on the top of this one and also I used this gorgeous trim it's the right way up and it's got a smaller side and a wider side I put the smaller side there and then I cut off the flowers, move them up the top. And as you can see, I've just used some tiny little pearls to put in there, in the flowers. And um, I'll just zoom out now and you can have a good look at it. So I can't wait to hang this on my craft door. It hangs really nicely it shapes well i'm just squashing it in so you can kind of see the whole thing on the camera and um yeah oh the 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 um ribbons to this beautiful lace it's so soft it is actually um a 1940s um lace and then the other laces this was um dyed with some tea that siobhan sent me a red berry tea and then um, this one, there's like a slight purple one and the red berry tea one. It um, just took different to the different fabrics. Um, one's a seam binding and one's like a soft, um, softer, different binding. So anyway, so I hope you will go over and have a look at BB Crafts products and Thank you for watching. I had such fun making this project and um, I'll be back with a video another day. Thank you. Bye for now.